are doing well. Happy Wednesday. Um, if you can hear a noise in the background, it is Gracie playing with one of her toys. Um, hopefully you can just ignore her. I've tried to stop her, but I can't. She just loves to play. So, um, I start school today and I just wanted to make a kind of a video on my tips for heading back to school if you're in school. Hopefully you'll find this helpful. Um, I just wanted to share some of the things that I find help me succeed and have a stress-free school year, stay on top of things, and help me to get as good of grades as possible while still maintaining as much of my sanity as possible. So, um, I guess the first thing that I would say, um, is to write everything down. It's very easy to not write anything down if there are like powerpoints in class or something and the teacher or professor is going to post them and you'll be able to look at them later it's tempting to not write anything down but the more you write things down the better you'll be able to remember it and if you try and write down um maybe what the professor is saying as he or she is reading the PowerPoint, then you'll be able to go back later and look at the PowerPoint as well as the other notes um, to help you maybe comprehend the slides a bit better. And Gracie is climbing up my leg. <laughs> she is so wild. If any of you have kittens, um, I guess you'll know that they have so much energy. I didn't realize how much energy they have. I thought, um, cats were generally really chill and it was like puppies that have a lot of energy, but kittens have just as much energy, I would say, as puppies. Anyway, a little side note there. So yeah, um, probably my biggest tip is, yeah, to write everything down. And I would suggest, if you can, writing things down on paper rather than, um, on your laptop. Because I have, uh, heard that there have been studies that show that you retain and remember the information better if it's uh, being written down with like pen or paper and better than if you're typing the notes out on your laptop. And I also have heard that you will do better on a test or an exam if you try your best to recreate the environment that you were studying in when you're writing your exam. So a lot of that stuff we don't have control over, but um, for example, you can try your best to study in a quiet space because chances are when you're writing your test or exam, it's going to be a quiet space as well. And so that can help. Um, like if you chew gum while you study, then chew gum while you write the exam or don't. Um, and then the other thing is that's why when you're studying and writing your notes, you want to write them on paper because typically for a test or exam, you're going to have to write your answers down on paper. So it all just helps, um, with your memory, remembering things better, etc., etc. And, um, so I'll show you what I like to use. So, I would suggest using something like this. Just a notebook with a plain paper. And I will... I 
will have one for every subject, um, typically like a different color so that I know um, which class is which. And then I'll just write all my notes inside the notebook. So inside it's just um, white lined paper. So perfect for writing notes. I'll, I'll usually do like the beginning of a chapter in the top space here and then I'll write and then whenever I start a new chapter I'll use this top space again to indicate that it's a new chapter. And then when you're writing, I suggest um, color coding your notes if you can, whether that be writing with a pencil or pen and then using colored highlighters. So I have some here. And just use these as like the beginning of a chapter to highlight uh, section headings or to highlight important terms and I just find that color coordinating can really help to um, keep your, your notes more organized and when you're studying I find it, it um, makes it a lot easier to retain the information when you have um, the notes kind of broken down into smaller color-coded sections rather than just one long page full of like gray black writing so so yeah personally I find that helps and it also kind of makes it more fun when you are studying to use colors than just pencils. And when you're taking notes in class, it can be really boring. So that's a way that I found to make it a lot more fun. And another thing, I also like to use these colored pens for taking my notes. These are the La pens. I absolutely love them. I will link them down below. Um, they're just so much fun to write with and they're such like smooth pens and it kind of takes the annoyance out of taking notes because I love writing with them so much that I almost try to find something to write just so I can use them. You know, and then this helps as well. They have so many colors um, for you to break up your notes. So you can use like a different color every single day, or like a different color every chapter or every section. And that can really help to stay organized and make it a little more fun. Another thing that I would say is to try and use something like these and these are really good multi-purpose um, little pieces of note paper so you just pull it off and sticky and these are colorful they're gonna help again just to keep things interesting but you can write anything that you want on here you can write dates for tests you can write any notes that the professor says will be really important or anything like what I like to do is sometimes during class the professor will say will mention something and then say this will definitely be on the exam what I'm talking about right now so what I'd like to do is take one of these pieces of paper and write down like this topic will be on the exam anything additional that the professor um, specifies that is important to know and then I'll just stick it in my notebook by that section so that it's just like super super clear and um, I don't accidentally skim over it and that I remember that I need to pay attention to that and then 
could also use them in your textbook uh, instead of writing in your textbook. Um, if you're gonna try and sell it again or whatever, you can um, you can use one of these as like a, a bookmark and then also make notes on it. So I think that those are great. And the other thing that I would say, which is possibly the most important tip that I have to give you, is to use a planner or calendar or something to organize your dates and your assignments, your tests, when things are due. And then not only when things are due, but I would also suggest using it to plan out exactly which days you're going to work on it. You know, if you have an assignment that's due next Monday, then you're going to do this on Monday, this on Tuesday, this on Wednesday, and keep track of all of that as well. And that helps you to stay so much more organized. And I think you're 40% more likely or something like that to do something if you have it written down. So just write everything down not only when it's due, but when you're going to work on it. And then you're a lot more likely to follow through with completing um, your goal for the day. So what I like to do is write down every little thing that I have to do. I like to use my calendar on my phone because it syncs up with my laptop. And while I'm in class, if I have my laptop open and the professor says something, uh, I can just write that down on my laptop in the calendar, and then um, later I, I'm able to bring it up on my phone as well. And I don't have my physical planner to show you just yet because I'm just about to run out and pick it up, but any kind of calendar that you like that has a layout that seems like it'll work for you would be perfect. and. It's something that I feel like a lot of students don't take advantage of, but it helps so much. In my experience, I'm not stressed at all because I know that I have everything written down. I know that I plan out when I'm going to do everything, and if I stick to my schedule, I don't have to worry about being late, not finishing anything on time, or anything like that. So. It just helps so much for a peace of mind and there's no way that you'll ever forget that something was due and it just works amazingly to keep track if you have any group meetings or anything like that and then my planner just isn't for school I also put uh, all my life stuff in it so I might when I get mine you know today I might write like I'm gonna this video, post this video, you know, just anything that I have going on, and that helps to be more organized, and, um, and then I think this one is pretty obvious, but I really do think that it's the biggest difference between having a stressful year and a non-stressful year, and that is to do everything early, and a lot of us start to do things early at the beginning of the year, but then we move towards procrastinating. Um, we like to tend to leave them for our future self to worry about later, but I think the fact of the matter is you're either going to stress about it until you start it and then do it and hate doing it, or you're just going to do it right away and hate doing it and then be stress-free later. So you might as well save yourself all the stress and worry about needing to start it, are you going to get it done in time, things like that, and just do it from the beginning. It saves so much stress and you, you just never have to worry. So I know it's hard, it can be really hard to find the motivation to do things early, to do schoolwork, but I just like to tell myself I'm going to spend this much time and do whatever it is that I can get done, or um, I'm going to get this much done no matter how long it takes. And once you have a specific goal, 
in mind, it's a lot easier to just actually follow through with that and make it happen. And, um, and when I'm studying or writing notes or just doing schoolwork in general, um, I really love to listen to lo-fi jazz music. I know that there are, everyone has different tastes and um, preferences when it comes to the environment that you want around you when you're studying or doing schoolwork. But for me personally, I like to have a quiet room, but then I like to have on some lo-fi jazz and I like to have my um, diffuser going with some essential oils. Just in general, make the experience as pleasant as you can for yourself and then you'll be so much more likely to do it again in the future and not hate doing your school. So I think that those are all the tips. I know this was just a short little video, but hopefully you can take some of these on board for the school year and have a really successful year. If you have any other tips, uh, please let me know in the comments because I'm starting school and I could really use anything that you guys think will help. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your school year, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.